going on boys it is me quick and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel now today we have big news on fifa 16 specifically on fifa 16 career mode and today i just woke up you can see it on my face I, I just woke up an hour ago and i'm freaking tired but i woke up to do this video and the reason is because there are huge changes in fifa 16 now i was seeing on twitter that a lot of people were talking about it. i'm like i'm like what the hell's going on so i went to ea's page and i saw this there are going to be preseason tournaments in your fifa 16 career mode now it's just not like three random friendlies that you're not going to play now there's going to be incentives to play in the tournament so just like in real life real madrid went to australia then they went to china to play in these cups in these tournaments and uh you get to play in these tournaments and if you win you get money so that's a cool thing you get to play with teams from all over the world and uh preseason is something that a lot of people wanted and uh it's here man we're gonna get to play preseasons and get money for it and experiment with our squads you know we get to do a lot of different changes to the squad to see what works to see which players are ready to play at the high level uh, or to play in the starting 11 so preseason tournaments is what is going to happen so now we move on to the next big thing which is player training this is freaking awesome because you actually get to train your players now you get to choose up to five players per week and you get to develop them in whichever skill or attributes you want them to improve on so let's say you have a good young player like james wilson you want him to develop his finishing boom you put him in training to uh to work on his finishing you can simulate it or i believe that you can actually play it i'm not really sure but right here it says train next player so it is simulating it and it develops your player uh one by one or all of them at the same time so you can do that or you can develop a player uh, like pogba who is very very good but he has still some things he can improve on uh, things like probably passing it could go up to a 90 I don't know so this is something we wanted uh, the sad thing is that you can only choose five players per week uh, but I think it's fair because I don't think um, it would be fair to put all your players at the same time because then your team would be too overpowered so um, it's, it's a good thing that they limited it but it's also a bad thing because it's not as realistic but hey they put a new thing in FIFA 16 which is freaking awesome and the one thing that I like is that it says you can focus on your star players to keep a strong starting 11 develop youth players to increase transfer values and build your funds or transform your club into a next Ajax or Barcelona a breeding ground for future stars of world football so you can be like a Real Madrid where you just buy all the big players you want or you could be like Barcelona and develop your own players so you can have a bunch of teams coming to your club because they want your young players and they're gonna be playing a bunch of money for them so you could be the next Ajax or Barcelona now the next thing is story of the season now I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible story of the season basically is that the commentators are gonna be talking about things that actually are happening in your career mode they're gonna be talking about rumors they're gonna be talking about how you've been playing uh, against other teams in your fixtures so that's gonna be awesome and they're actually gonna be talking about players you've signed in the game so it's gonna be very very awesome and the last couple of things is that you're gonna be able to sign free agents outside of the transfer window so outside of the transfer window you can sign free agents if you pick up an injury if you don't like the way some players are playing you can pick up free agents that are on the market and also they have scout reports that instead of lasting three months and you know just disappears it lasts there for I believe um, a whole year which is freaking awesome also you have transfer transfer budget so there's gonna be more realistic transfer budgets for which team you have which is awesome because um, some teams like Manchester United have a ton of money but in the game they say that they only have like 40 million dollars so that is freaking crazy and also after you finish a season some of the money that you win that season will move on to the next season so if you win a lot of trophies you win a lot of competitions you get a lot of money back you get to use that money in the next season also loans you get to choose whether whether you want the short loan to be a little longer or if you want the player and you want to keep him for two seasons you can do that which is freaking awesome and i think i might do that now you also have more realistic transfers so instead of real madrid going for a kunawero every damn season you're gonna have more realistic transfers that are happening in real life which is awesome because i hate seeing the same transfers in the career mode every single damn time also there are better improved transfer values so instead of paying a lot of money for like let's say a good young player and you pay around 20 million for him 
it's going to be more realistic and you're going to be able to pay less money because of how realistic it is. So that's awesome. But that could also be a bad thing because you could be going for a Ronaldo. And uh, I know a lot of people offer Chicharito and they pay like 50 million. So it, it's going to be more realistic and it's going to be harder to get the bigger players. But that is pretty much it. I'm freaking stoked about it. But I wish there could have been more things added to it. But I know this is a process and I know they're going to add more in FIFA 17. But tell me what you guys think. In the comment section down below, I'm stoked, can't wait, and um, this is going to be freaking awesome, boys. This is going to be a great freaking year for FIFA career mode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Slap a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you next time.